السلام عليكم everybody welcome to the Arabic class welcome to learn Arabic Arabic is our beautiful language بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين in the name of Allah the most gracious most merciful praise be to Allah uh, and uh, blessings and peace on his messenger Muhammad his family and his companion today we are going to talk about the letter wow in Arabic alphabet. You know that the letter wow is the letter number 27 in Arabic alphabet. Now, how to write the letter wow? To write the letter wow, we start from the base line and we go clockwise like this and then we make an arc of a circle like this. So, to write the letter wow, uh, we start from the base line. If this is the base line, this is the base line, so we start from the base line, we go clockwise like this, and then we make an arc of a circle like this. This is how to write the letter well. Now, how to pronounce the letter well? This is well with fatha, and it is wa, and this is well with damma. This comma on top is called damma, and this is wu, and this is well with kasra. And it is we. So this is we, wo, we. We, wo, we. So practice with me. We, wo, we. You'll see that your, um, your, your lips uh, uh, form a circle with the uh, opening for the sound to come out. So let's try again. We, wo, we. We'll have another lesson on the articulation and um, the characters of the letter wow. But now you have to know that wow with fatha is wa, and wow with damma is wu, and wow with kasra is we. Wa, wu, we. Wa, wu, we. Now, how to join the letter wow? This is the letter wow at the beginning of the word. You can't join the letter wow to other letters, but you can join other letters to the letter wow. So this is the letter wow in the middle of the word. Here is other letters, and we join it to the letter wow like this. And this is the letter wow at the end of the word. Let's take examples. Here is the letter wow in the beginning of the word, like warda. Warda. Here is warda. Here is the letter wow. At the beginning of the word, and here is wow with fatha. Warda means flower. Warda means flower. Warda. Please add these words to your vocabulary. And in the middle of the word, you can have daw, which means light. Daw. And here is wow with sukun in the middle of the word. Daw. 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 This is light. Daw means light. And this is well at the end of the word. Delw, bucket. Delw, delw means bucket. Delw, this is well at the end of the word. The letter well may come isolated. Isolated means that um, the letter well may come between two words. It is not um, part of the word, but it comes between two words or between two sentences. And or maybe in the beginning of a sentence, and uh, uh, it has other meanings. So the letter wow, when isolated, in many times it may it means and. For example, uh, if I say Ahmed wa Omar, means Ahmed and Omar. Here is wow is isolated, is not part of this word and is not part of this word, but it is isolated. It is between two these two words. Here it means and. Ahmed wa Omar means Ahmed and Omar. You can also say Al-Layl wa Nahar. Al-Layl wa Nahar means the night and the day. And here wow is isolated and it means and. But this is not the only meaning of the isolated wow. The wow when it comes isolated it has so many meanings. It has at least 15 more meanings than and. So we will talk about the meanings of the isolated wow in a separate lesson. 
Now, the letter wow. Let's have the letter wow in words from the Holy Quran. Let's see the letter wow in the beginning of the word in the Holy Quran. Waladun means a boy. Waladun means a boy. Waladun means a boy. And wajhun means face. Wajhun, wajhun, or wajh, wajh, or wajhun means face. And the plural is wujuhun, faces. Wujuhun, faces, means faces. Wujuhun, faces. So now you know for uh, waladun, waladun, and you know wajhun, and the plural is wujuhun. So please add these words to your vocabulary. You will see it in the Holy Quran. Uh, other words, wahidun means one for masculine. Wahidatun means one for feminine. Wahidun, wahidatun, wahidun, wahidatun. Wahyun, you will see wahyun means revelation. You will see it many times in the Holy Quran. Wahyun means revelation, revelation. And you can see well in the middle of the word. Yuhi, awha, here is verbs. Yuhi means to reveal, to reveal. It is a verb, means to reveal, present verb. Awha, this is the past, means revealed. And the noun is wahy. So, yuhi, to reveal. Awha, so please add these words to your vocabulary. Yuhi means to reveal. Awha means revealed. And the noun is wahy. The letter wow also in the middle of the word like awwal. Awwalu. Awwalu means first for masculine. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Huwal awwalu. Huwal awwalu means he is the first. And ula means first for feminine. And you will see also awla laka. Awla laka fa awla. You will see it in Surah Al Qiyama. Means it is worthy of you. Awla laka means it is worthy of you. This is in Surah Al Qiyama. You will see awla laka means it is worthy of you. You will see also yatawakkalu, yatawakkalu, this is a verb, present verb, it means to depend. And the past is tawakkala, you know the present verb has always dhamma at the end, and the past verb always has fatha at the end, and the amr always has sukun at the end. So the verb yatawakkalu means to depend, this is the present verb, yatawakkalu. The past is tawakkala, and the amr is tawakkal, and the noun is wakil, means guardian. So, yatawakkalu, tawakkala, tawakkal, wakil, yatawakkalu, tawakkala, tawakkal, wakil. You will also see fusukun. Fusukun means the transgression or wickedness. Fusukun, fusukun, and you will see also najwa. Najwa means private conference, means when uh, two or three people, few people talk together privately. Means najwa, you will see this word in Surah Al Mujadala. Najwa in Surah Al Mujadala. Najwa, fusukun, transgression. Fusukum Najwa And wow at the end of the word Inna Allah la'afuun ghafoor Afuun ghafoor Afuun Here is the wow With tanween With dam tanween And the shadda Afuun Afuun At the end of the word You can see the wow at the end of the word إن الله لعفو غفور إن الله لعفو غفور إن سورة الحج وإن الله لعفو غفور this in سورة المجادلة indeed Allah is all pardoning all forgiving you can also see بالغدو والآصال 
بالغدو والآصال means in the morning and in the evening here is the wow which is isolated it's, uh, wow when isolated it always has فتحة and here is the wow which is at the end of the word بالغدو 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 والآصال thank you